The awe and reverence that must be present when a person stands in Bet Din Shilmala, the heavenly court, must be immeasurable and overwhelming. Think about it. If a person is in a municipal court testifying or defending himself, you can imagine the nerves he has. What if the words come out wrong? What if I wasn't confident? Did the judge hear my case in point? Was I a colossal failure? I'm not going to pretend to know what happens in the heavenly court because our sages only give us small tidbits of what will take place. And until it does take place, nobody can claim that they've had first-hand experience. Well, Rabunim Peshischa, known simply as Rabunim, one of the key leaders of Hasidic Judaism, explains that when man stands in front of the heavenly tribunal after 120 years, they will not ask him why he sinned, contrary to what we would expect. When a student misbehaves and throws a paper airplane in the class, the teacher first will ask, why? But the why question will not be asked in Shemaim. The reason is because a defendant has an easy way out. Why did I steal, you ask? I had the urge to steal. Why did I speak slander? Because I had the urge to speak derogatively. Why did I throw the paper airplane? Because your class is boring. Okay, maybe not, but you get the point. God, you gave me the urge. You gave me the evil inclination. It's not my fault. But they will ask you, why didn't you repent fully for your sin? I understand that you couldn't control the instinct to speak slander or to steal or to show disrespect to your elders, but you could have rectified those actions with Teshuvah. The gates of Teshuvah are open for anyone at any time. The Gemara Masechet Chagiga states, Afilu sicha kala magidin lo b'sha'at adin. Rav Chaim Mivalajan explains that Tefillah is called sicha. And the Gemara is telling us that in the future, in Shamaim, when a person will be judged, they will say to him, Ma sicho, how much of his punishment could have been prevented had he prayed to Hashem. Afilu sicha kala magidin lo b'sha'at adin. Did you pray? Did you ask for forgiveness? Were you sorry? So you threw the paper airplane. But why didn't you pick it up and apologize?